What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Will Play with CJ. Turn to focus in on the uh, Boston Bruins signing Jonas Gustafsson to a uh, one-year deal worth 700 grand. Great value for a backup goalie. I mean, is Gustafsson, you know, a capable number one? No, but he's a solid number two. And I think having him in the fold is good for the Bruins on a, you know, for, in terms of prospect development because, again, neither Subban nor Zane McIntyre need to, uh, you know, be rushed up to the big squad. And I think having... You know, a veteran like uh, like Gustafsson in the fold can uh, can really work some some wonders for you. I think the coaching staff has a little more confidence in them in him than they did uh, you know in Svedberg last season. So you know, having a guy that's got almost 150 games in the show under his belt and you know, it put, it's been in a few different situations with the organizations. Obviously, spent the last what three years with the Wings, and then uh, before that was in the. Uh, Obviously, come over and played for Toronto and got a lot of hype and really didn't live up to it. Mostly because those Leafs teams, you know, sucked. So, again, Bruins back up, spells two every now and then, kind of a win-win situation. Uh, and you know, if he struggles, he's making seven hundred grand. You can waive him uh, pretty easily. So now the thing of it is, is Jeremy Smith, Zane McIntyre, and Malcolm Subban duking it out for ice time in Providence. You know, you look at Jeremy Smith being, you know, kind of a backup, you know, career, minor leaguer. You know, even though he's only 26, for a goal, he still is pretty young, I'll add. Um, you know, that's going to be one of those tough situations where what do you do with him versus the two kids? You know, you want to get the, um, the the two prospects in Subban and uh, McIntyre ice time consistently. But you look at what... Smith did last year with with Providence. He was it was amazing. Two hundred five goals against nine thirty two save percentage. So, you know who goes to the East Coast League is going to be a um, a big thing with um with that team going forward. Um, I know the Bruins. I saw a tweet today. Zane McIntyre didn't leave Dakota to play in the East Coast League, so that's going to be something. And you know, how, how much of a face would it be for the Bruins had their first round pick? playing in uh, the East Coast League as well, Malcolm Subban. So I know that there was, you know, people in Boston aren't happy with the Subban pick three years later. Goalies take a while to develop. And I know some players that got drafted after him are having a lot of success, but that's just the way it goes. Um, you know, that's it's a tricky position, and I think having Gustafsson in the fold is more of a positive than a negative. Um, you know, you can figure out what to do with Smith, Subban, and McIntyre going forward. Anyway. That's all I get to episode of the Power Play with CJ. Stay tuned for more episodes for the preseason and beyond. Later, guys.